I saw myself ministering to somebody he, yesterday. I was praying, knowing that I'll be here today. I saw somebody who had just buried a relative. But uh, from that moment, he started having some asthmatic attacks. You see. It's okay, come. And that's when exactly it started. So it's a, this is a person, I wasn't going to call her out, but I was just going to pray for the sick. But it's because, you see, the moment I said it, so quick, she was very fast to know that, ah, he's talking to me. But, but you'll be surprised that maybe even after a minute, you'll see another one coming out. <laughs> you want to come out as well. <laughs> <laughs> you see, so um, come, come. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you very soon. You can stand over there. And I was ministering to another one with a left breast lamp in the left ear. They come and stand over there. It's not like it's everywhere. It's not in the entire place. Far left side, let me say this angle here. That's where it is. And I saw myself praying for this one and it disappeared. It just went like that. Yes, it's important. This is yesterday, not today. Yesterday. So uh, this is why it is very important for us to understand The man of God said that as he was praying, God showed him a person with a lamp on the left breast. And I said it was me because I do have the, uh, the lamp on my left breast. But the weird thing is that no one knows about this except my husband. I never told anyone about it, not even my pastor in Bulawayo. No one knows about it. And when I registered for Life Haven, I never even wrote about it. I never even went to the doctor with this problem because I did not care. I, I, to me, it was not an issue. And actually, when the prophet was talking about uh, healing, I got upset because I was thinking that I, we want prophecy, we were, we were promised prophecy. What is he talking about healing? Why is he talking about healing when we want prophecy? And to me, the breast lamp was not an issue. I didn't care about it. The only person who knows about it is my husband. No one else knows, not even my sister or even my mother, not even anyone. And even in this place, I never told anyone about it. On my registration form, I never wrote that. No one knows about this. There is absolutely no way that Prophet would have known this. Absolutely no way. Because there is nobody even here at Life Haven who I spoke about this. Even when we were in the rooms, we spoke about many things, but that was not one of them. Nobody knows about it, not even my mother, not even my sister. It was only me and my husband. And, and the fact that it was on the left side, th there is absolutely no way that the prophet could have guessed, please come to Life Haven. It's the place to be. I really can't explain the atmosphere here. If, if God can do it for me, showing me the hidden things, because that's really something that I had hidden from the world, I had hidden it from everyone. But if God can expose such things, then I, re I recommend that you all come because there is no situation that is hidden that will not be dealt with. I encourage everyone to come who is hesitant. Please make a sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. I need to pray for somebody here. What I'm seeing, it is quite strange because these are like two miscarriages, two miscarriages. And I'm seeing the third one that is coming, it will be a baby, please come, come. Come and stand over there. And that's the reason why, that's the reason why she's here because I'm actually hearing a baby crying here and I'm wondering what is this? Yes. 
day when the prophet of God was um, ministering in the morning, uh, he said we should pray, pray in the spirit. So he was calling out people with different situations. Then as I was praying, uh, he called out, there was a, there's a lady who had two miscarriages, and that is true. I had uh, two miscarriages. The first one I had it in 2014 in August, and the second one in 2015 in January. So when he called out that there is a lady who had two miscarriages and who was about to experience another miscarriage, I felt he was talking to me because last night as we were praying, I could feel some pains in my abdomen. And uh, it's been a month since I missed my period. It's been three years since I got married. I don't have any kids. I had two miscarriages and I was about to have the third miscarriage. But I thank the God of Prophet Makandiwa that I'm receiving my, my first child. I came to know of Life Haven through my cousin brother. Uh, he's a member of uh, UFI, and he was here some time last month. So he actually persuaded me to come to this place. I'm personally a Catholic. I grew up in the Catholic Church. But I want to say that the God of Prophet Makantiwa is not a, a, a God who judges people. Rather, he welcomes almost everyone with their problems. When I came to this place, I just thought maybe they give first prefer preference to those who are part of this, uh, of the family. But I felt uh, at home. And um, all I can say is to my fellow friends who are encountering the same problem. And there are many there, I can, I can even say them by heart. And you know yourselves, and I'm looking forward to beholding my firstborn.